a wild day two of the Grizzly Open. Saw not one, but two victories go the Grizzlies' way as we're joined now by our Grizzly Today, presented by Jets Pizza on Sugarloaf Parkway. And Miss Leah McFadden. Leah, the game got over about 20 minutes ago. Are we still – what's our emotions like right now? I'm I'm still high strung. My heart rate hasn't gone down yet. I'm still shaking a little bit. It's – definitely still high energy <laughs> let's jump into the highlights here we start with a web gem by a freshman first baseman and angelica gallegos and we finish with a phenomenal web gem we'll get to in just a moment but leah for now talk to me about what we are all learning about this grizzly team in 2022 that you may already know um i think that we can definitely get the job done it doesn't have to be pretty it doesn't have to be perfect but we definitely can get it done when we need to and the Grizzlies get the job done today with two victories. Uh, the first one against Thomas in 11-4 fashion. Talk to me about how far this team has come in two games. We're talking about being one hit by that Thomas team just yesterday to now two walk-off victories versus a top 25 opponent. I think we've definitely learned how to take a step back, reevaluate, and then overcome our little mistakes. Um, definitely just working through things that may have stopped us up a little bit. We are definitely good at that. <laughs> In the nightcap, we saw a familiar foe in Lindsey Wilson as the bats came alive in that uh, in that first contest versus Thomas. But in the second game versus Lindsey Wilson, we've seen a familiar foe over the years and now twice in two days. What does the confidence level of this team do when Alexa Good's inside the center circle? Lex is one of our main pitchers. She's been a shining star all four years. Um, everyone's really comfortable with her on the field, and I think she really trusts her defense to be behind her. In two days, Alexa Good has thrown 24 innings. She's registered all three wins for the Grizzlies. We had a debut for a freshman in Molly Peacock who got some quality work in inside the center circle versus Lindsey Wilson. But Leah, let's get into you a little bit here. You're having to make a transition. I don't know how many gloves you have in your bag, but right now you're asked to bring your center fielder's glove. What's the adjustment like going to the outfield? Um, it's definitely a lot different than infield. It's definitely been a long time since I've played outfield. There is a lot that I need to relearn and redo, but I think this weekend has given me a lot more confidence in my outfielding skills. Piper Wagner with a big time two run home run gives the Grizzlies a the lead. Then Chloe Goins has a clutch at bat in the six. And this game gets pushed into extras. As we look at this highlight here, this is you in center field in a tie ball game with runners at second and third and extra innings. What was going through your mind? Um, I knew she was one of their best hitters and I knew she was due for a hit. And I knew that I needed to catch it no matter what. What a catch it was. Sports center worthy indeed. It saves the game. We move on to the ninth. Alexa Good gets a huge strikeout in extra innings. And then what do you know? Your at bat comes up in the ninth. What was your approach to the plate? I really just wanted to get the job done. I wanted to execute. I think I had a chance early in the game and I didn't necessarily get it done, but I just wanted to be safe no matter what. <laughs> and so you put that ball in play, you put your head down and run as hard as you can to first. You turn around and realize that the Grizzlies win. Who is the first person there to celebrate with? Uh, I think Piper and AG were definitely the first people out. And then the rest of the team, they've been behind me all day. So it was really great to have them all cheering me on. A huge moment for Georgia Gwinnett here. They improved to 3-1 and one on the season. And we're not done yet. We're going to go to day three of the Grizzly Open tomorrow. Two tough opponents in University of Cumberland's and Reinhardt are going to do battle with Georgia Gwinnett. But Leah, tonight we celebrate, we relax, we try to get some sleep before we're going to come back here tomorrow. But before we go home, give us some shout outs. Uh, definitely my whole team, my family, Gracie, because she's sitting right here. Um, Bird, even though he's at work and he missed it. But honestly, just everyone. Everyone was behind me today, and I think everyone deserves the wins as much as I do. Grizzly fans, get some sleep. We'll see you right back here, the Sunday Fundy edition, in the conclusion of the Grizzly Open right here on the Grizzly Digital Network.